If you've never made a fresh evergreen Christmas planter, you're in luck, neither have I. The plan today is to show you a quick and easy way to take apart a small, inexpensive drop and go planter that I picked up at the hardware store, take it apart, and then make two large displays out of it with the addition of some greens that I picked up at the grocery store. Now, if you have a red twig dogwood in your backyard or some evergreens, etc., awesome. You can make it even cheaper, but we don't have that. And so I'm going to show you what I did. Let's get started. I'll be sharing some tips all through the video. And the first one is to look at the area you want to put the Christmas planter on to see what size you need. I couldn't find an inexpensive one in black, so I spray painted this one a matte black because I like the shape and the size of it. I think it looks best if you go with a bigger planter when you're putting it on the front porch. I put a small pot on the bottom to take up some of the volume and I added chicken wire so the branches have something to support them. And then I filled the rest with soil. The second tip is to consider using a lightweight planter that's easy to move around without scratching the porch. Along with that is if you live in an area that dips below freezing, you may want a plastic one that won't freeze and crack. Next, I bought a small drop and go planter that had tall, sturdy, noble fir branches in it. And then I picked up a variety of evergreens that included stiff, sturdy ones, along with softer ones that added different texture and color, like scotch or white pine, cedar, and Douglas fir. The third tip I have is to make a fresh cut on the branches and put them in water until you're ready to use them. This helps to keep them fresh longer. I started with zip tying small dowels to the end of the thicker branches so I could anchor them in the mesh for stability. Then I added a few red twig dogwood of various sizes. The fourth tip is to have everything all together when you're ready to make the planters. This way it'll be more efficient and less frustrating for you. These can be super fast and easy to make. These planters only took me 17 minutes for the first one and 15 minutes for the second one. And that included me videoing. Next, I took the taller, sturdy branches from the drop and go planter I bought and I started to add them to the back. These will help support the rest of the evergreens and keep the planter looking fresh and upright. Then I added an additional three or four kinds of softer evergreens, alternating them around the planter with different heights, color, and textures. This can also help the planter look more interesting. Next, I added a few pine cones, but you might want to consider adding berries or a bow to contrast the green. For the second planter, I followed the same basic plan. And like I said before, if you already have a large planter and a variety of evergreens in your yard, you can make these for free. And at the end, I watered both planters to give them moisture and also so it will freeze the branches into place. I just love the way these two turned out. I saw smaller Christmas planters at the store for $75 each. The ones I made are full and beautiful. They're each different from the other, yet they'll look right next to each other on the porch when I decorate it for Christmas. 
The last two tips I'll share is that the more variety in the greens you have, the more beautiful it will look. And the other tip is to continue to water the planters about every week until they freeze. Thanks so much for watching. I hope that you were able to find some value and inspiration in today's video, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye. Merry Christmas, baby. Rain is coming out to play.